I'm not going to be able to find any shelter. I'm going to go over here and cut right through the end of these pads. And see if that, that shoreline right over there might have a little protection. water over the side there. Got my butt wet. Well at least I'm paddling into the wind which means that when I get ready to go back I won't have to paddle. out looking back toward the toward the landing you can see it down there right okay I'll throw the one knot oh at least I got out of that damn wind a little bit wow This is pretty good. I'm sitting here in this little bay casting with a one knocker. And there is some uh, some grass in here and some pads, so there ought to be some fish too. Okay. There we go. nice to catch a fish right now since I got two cameras on me. One on the water and one on me. Okay, as you can see from the waves, it's carrying me right toward that uh, point of grass down there. That looks like there might be a little inlet in there. That would be nice to get around the corner of that point fish in there. And throw the uh, one knocker some more. I just don't have any heart to throw anything else. I feel like if the fish are in here they'll bite the one knocker. But uh, what the hell do I know? Okay, just to report in, I haven't got a bite, and I got the uh, swim jig on, see it's there, some grass on it also, and look at that, grass to the left, pads to the right, swim jig and a one knocker? Wow. Huh? Okay. I'm not going to be able to see much here because we're looking directly into the sun. So, it looks like a good area to fish. This tall grass. Oh, that was a that was a bite finally. And I got a fish. I'll be damned. Yeah. Oh, he got off. But damn, I got a fish. Wow, what a surprise. That was on the swim jig. Well, let me damn. Characteristically, he runs right at you with a swim jig. Throw it into the grass. Yep, pass the grass, bring it back through. Here it is, November, almost December. The water's not too cold. 
cool with that. Florida's a great place to live. Hmm. Well, I'll have to say, at least I've gotten a strike on the swim jig. Oop, I felt like another one. Yeah, what's going on here? Yeah, come on, come on, baby. He's on there, yeah, he's on there. Yeah, don't tell me, don't tell me. Wow. Oh, shit. It got off. Damn it. Whew. Got him all the way up to the boat. Right in the pad beds here. Well, on the edge of them, anyway. Not right in them. Do I drift in here or do I go back, uh, go back where I was for a while? It's uh, four o'clock. I think I'll go back where I was. I don't like really fishing in these really pads. I, I came back to where I had hooked those other ones and I hooked another one just now and he ran toward me and I thought I was going to be able to land him. And uh, no. I think they're little fish. Big fish, I'd catch them. Well, we have to either turn around, paddle back into the wind, drift down there again, which I think I'll do. I think I'll paddle up to that point. Not, maybe not all the way, but pretty close to it. Let the wind drift me down this hole bay here because I think I can catch a bass. Oh, camera was on. I wonder how much you got of that. Oh. By the way, I'm just going to extend this out in front of the camera because it's not a very big fish. And if it falls off, I don't care. All right. There it is. You should be able to see that. The battery's gone dead in my other camera. <laughs> After five fishing trips, I finally catch a fish. And, uh... <laughs> okay. This fish weighs eight ounces. Eight ounces, okay? Okay, I moved off the uh, edge of the pads, big pad bed, uh, out in front of the uh, boat launch. And I'm going to throw a few around the patch here, a few swim jigs. See it there? Yep, okay. You know what a swim jig looks like. There ought to be some bass lying in the edge of these pads. I got the camera right on my bait. Well, that's an underwater bait. <laughs> Throw it over that pad bed. That's okay. I'll pull it back through there. <clears throat> With some difficulty, and uh, I snagged the pad. Oh, braided line. I'll pull it right, right on through. Years ago, when I was using spinning tackle and monofilament line, I would have uh, stayed hung up there. Would have had to paddle over and uh, unhook it. Yeah, since we're not shooting into the sun for the first time today, I can actually see the viewfinder on the on the uh, little video camera here, and uh, I see it doing the same thing I'm doing uh, under the wave action, just kind of rocking and rolling a little bit.